Bertram described two different kinds of pawpaws from Florida. We have this little child rhyme about putting pawpaws in your pocket. Well, I think that must have been the tree pawpaw. These are shrub-sized pawpaws. They get fruit on them. Uh, they're edible. I've eaten them uh, when they get ripe, but usually the raccoons and possums and, and foxes get them before anybody else gets them. So they're, you rarely find them ripe on the bushes. But anyway, he described a, a white flowered one, which uh, he called uh, uh, Incarna, and then he described a little one that had a maroon flower, which was the pygmy pawpaw. And both of those plants live in a particular kind of habitat known as sand hill. And sand hills in Florida are usually vegetated with longleaf pine, turkey oak, wiregrass, and up to 300 other species of, of sand hill uh, xeric adapted plants. That also is the home of the gopher tortoise, pocket gopher, uh, six lying race runners. There's a whole group of, of amphibians that occur in these habitats that uh, uh, are sand hill adapted. The gopher tortoise is considered a keystone species, which is a species that a lot of the community depends on. It's like the keystone in a bridge. You pull the keystone rock, which is the center rock out, and the bridge collapse. That's uh, been applied to the gopher tortoise as a keystone species because not only it, it dig a burrow, and there are upwards of uh, 350 species of animals that have known to occur in these burrows, and they also, in the process of digging, they're moving soil from down deep up on the surface, so it's part of the recycling process of soils and soil nutrition. So this is where Bartram describes the, the, the pawpaw here, and he also describes the sand hill. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.